Hello, I'm at Subaj. Listen, this is so interesting. So interesting. You know, you know, we, 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 we talk about these things. God has given you ability. Ability doesn't mean having strong muscles and being able to lift physical things. Ability is a knowledge. Knowing who you are. See? So, we, we share testimonies like this with you. It's not I, I, several years ago. You know, even before I ever knew my wife was going to be my wife, she, she used to work with me then. You know, she comes around to help me do some um, secretarial work then. You know, so one day she finished working then. I was walking her to the road to get a cab home. And then she said to me that she hadn't eaten all day. I said, really? And guess what that day? I had nothing on me. It was several years ago. I had nothing on me. And then I said, so what do you do? It's like, she's really hungry. So I said, okay, you know what? Let's go to a restaurant. And then we, we turned and we're walking towards a, a known restaurant that we knew. Now, this was, this was about 7 in the evening, so it was just about getting dark. Not really dark now, but just getting dark. So we were walking on the road. <clears throat> and suddenly, listen, when God provides for you, you always see it. Suddenly, I saw a thousand naira note on the floor. I, my eyes just went, see it. <laughs> you know, I just walked straight, picked it up, cleaned it. I said, okay, we'll have enough money now for you to eat. <laughs> it's God. Now, now, someone will go, hey, you mean you pick money on the... Let me tell you the truth. When it comes to working in your ability, listen, even a madman can give you money. Praise God. You know why? Because you know you can never be broke at all. Now, do you know, the truth is, the truth is, if I was not in that condition that time, I mean, I've seen that man. I said, oh, who, who, who's the owner of this money? You know what I mean? Oh, see, someone's money fell down here. But because you know you are walking by faith, you, you know, when we're walking, I said, let's go to a restaurant. We had no money on us. But we were walking by faith, looking for where this provision, you know, like the Bible says, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we're looking out for that day. And then where did we see mercy? We saw mercy right in front of us, looking at us. Praise God. And that sorted out that need. I can tell you countless testimonies, but don't forget the main point. It is you coming to that place of ability. When you know you can never be broke, you also know you can never be sick. You just know you can never be sick. It, it, it's a knowledge that it's, you know, only the Holy Spirit can, can give you this. Now, it doesn't mean you, cannot, you will not feel sickness. See, the ability always tells you what to do. Just a few days ago, you know, I, I had this strong pain just behind me. You know, something that like, looked like, you know, when, when, when cold enters you. So it was so painful. I couldn't, I mean, I tried to lie down on the bed. It was painful. My wife told me, I've never seen you like that before. You know, <clears throat> and then at some point I said, what, what's this? So I went on my knees and I just began to talk to the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't know where this is coming from, but you know, it can't stay. It has to go. So I need your wisdom right now. I need your power right now to function to the to root of this thing. And it has to go now. And I was just praying and praying in the spirit like that. And then I slept over my knees. Guess what? I woke up and it was all cleared. It was gone. Praise <laughs> God. Now, I didn't start to go, oh, um, we have to rush to the hospital. I, those, those pains were terrible. I can tell they were terrible. Praise God. But you see, because I knew there was no way I should be sick. So when I, when I was feeling that I went to the Lord, what did I need? More knowledge. I need the Holy Spirit to talk to me. I just need, see, because he said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. If you need money, all you need is for the Holy Spirit to talk to you. If you need accommodation, all you need is for the Holy Spirit to talk to you. Hey, what am I saying to you? He has given to us, praise God, all things that pertain to life and godliness. Let me tell you this truth. You don't need anybody. You know, don't, don't have this mentality that, oh, I, I need this job. I need this job. Because if, if they fire me right now, um, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen to me. Keep quiet, praise God. Praise God. Listen, you've got ability.
Bible actually says, cost is every man that trusts a man. You are cost. If your only hope is your job, sorry. I'm not just saying, I'm not cursing you. I'm telling you what the word of God says. You are cursed. I'm not insulting you either. I'm challenging you. So what should you do? Resign? No. Enlarge your coast. Enlarge your thinking. Remember we've been talking about God being our source. Enlarge your thinking to that point where all you can see is God around you and everything he has to say to you. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know as I'm speaking these words right now, I'm ministering to your heart. Listen, all you need to do is to receive them. Allow his word to settle in your hearts. That is all you need. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. And he is there to guide you. Listen, Jesus said it is better for you that I go so that the Holy Spirit will come. How much advantage have you taken of the Holy Spirit? That's the question I'm asking. He said, this life, there is nothing you need that has not been given to you. Inside you is the ability to connect with it. It doesn't matter where that thing is. It can be in London, it can be in Dubai, it can be in, in the further, I mean, the end of the earth. But from your spirit, you can pull it to yourself. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I've got to stop here. Until tomorrow, have a best day and receive the things that are yours today. In Jesus' name, amen.